And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Talia catalog to kick off this weekend meme tier day. It's Saturday. Uh, usually we do ranked here, but we got a lot of meme tier donation decks to get to. Uh, viewer submitted decks that look pretty cool. And so we're going to be doing meme tier on Monday also, like always. But we're going to have some here on Saturday as well. Um, this one's going to be a uh, you know Talia catalog deck. So what that means is we're playing Catalog of Regrets with... Talia, where Talia can summon an exact copy of it. So we can get multiple catalog of regrets with the help of Talia. Then with multiple catalog of regrets, the main thing that we're doing with that is go hard, be a, a you know good one mana spell, make two more copies of this one mana spell, you know, round start after you know after playing it last rounds. And now you got you know another go hard, and then maybe you're getting a pack your bags after that and so on so that's going to be pretty cool um also going to be you know having a good landmark theme in here um you know we got our preservarium rock hopper bomber twins ancient preparations right like we you know we got a good amount of landmarks in here um the the whole endless devout desert naturalist ride of the arcane combination which is pretty great because um our other champion is going to be Zareth that wants to have a lot of landmarks destroyed so then can start doing one damage to, to enemies or if it levels up three damage to the weakest enemy um, obviously, to level up Talia, we need to summon five landmarks, and then a couple of Herald of the Magus to help us win the game, uh, be able to grant plus two, plus two, overwhelm to our two champions, especially this one right here. Talia loves that plus two, plus two, overwhelm when Talia is leveled up. So that's the deck. So we're going to be having control elements um, with Catalog of Regrets and Talia. So it's Talia Catalog. So let's go ahead and play five games. We're playing them in normal. That's what we do here on Meme Tier Day. So we'll go play our games in normal. Let's see how our decks do. So this deck here was a Nasher deck. Nasher donated for two of the decks today. This one and our next one. Also Nautilus Lee Sin, the first two decks. Nasher built these two. Let's see. So we have Senna, Vagar. Senna, Vagar is Darkness. I like the i mean i don't know exactly what gohard's gonna do but they could they could play uh the one mana one one that makes a prank Let's grab a catalog but it's just like you know it's so hard to mulligan gohard even if this isn't like the best gohard matchup it's just you know it's hard to mulligan that card All right, so I'm trading Rock Hopper away because you know Rock Hopper would normally die to all their one damage spells, your Pokey Sticks, your Vile Feast, that kind of stuff. I don't exactly want that to happen, so we'll go ahead and trade that away. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Yeah. What's up, Nate Dog? What's up, Violet? Yeah, so Worlds just ended, EDG1, um, as chat's saying, so Ed, who, which stands for Edward Gaming. I think EDG should be Everyday Gamer, but I guess Edward Gaming works also. Alright, we're gonna pass. So I'm passing here so that I can, um, alright, so of course, next round we're planning on playing the Talia, that's 4 out of 5. I want to make sure, I want to have two mana for Ancient Hourglass to protect Talia in case they, you know, use whatever on Talia, like a Vengeance. Work the fabric, minions. Work it. Okay, which they're probably not doing here. I kind of want to play the Vile Fee so that we get the blocker, but I'd much rather make more copies of Go Hard than, you know, like I want to make a lot more Go Hards. Now we have a packer bags. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. 
And I'll be patient. The problem with using the Packer Bags exactly right now is they play... Uh... Okay, that's, that's actually pretty good. So now that gets... Now that goes away. Let's worry about the champion, the four-man champion. Alright, might as well use this. So doing this to level up Talia, so that, that's going to be the fifth landmark. We'll get two Ancient Hour last next round. Yeah, they're just waiting. Like a Throw rock. <clears throat> what are you wearing? Oh, my dear. All right, well, Mini Morph makes life sad like usual. Alright, cool. Get to kill a Vagar. That's good. Oh, I'd imagine they just don't play anything, and then I don't get to play more Gohards. That's what I'm doing if I'm them. Found Italia. So the problem with playing Gohard right here is, of course, the next round they just don't have to play any units, so then I don't get to play any of my Gohards. Um, so I kind of want to play on Speakable Horror. Yeah, I guess if that's a... Okay, I was going to say if that's a Glimpse Beyond, I guess. That could be kind of bad. Pretty nice having a whole lot of unspeakable horrors. That's not too bad. So we gonna make a third catalog. So we get triple go hard next round. It's unfortunate our opponent's not playing that many units for like all these go hards and pack your bags and stuff. Uh, so question says, I wonder how Talia attack would with the place swap would interact. You know, like the syncopation. I think that the the rocks stay in the same spot. So. Um, you know, Talia would go somewhere else, whatever you put in front of the rocks, the, the, those, I don't think the rocks, the rocks don't switch spots also. A 
cast spells. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Pill Cascade does not save it. for that. That would have been a great time to have Hourglass. Hang on. <laughs> We're rolling. Rock Bear. Unfortunately, we can't just simply cast. Can't just simply cast Go Hard. Why can't we go hard the Nexus? Right, at least they're giving us a Spiderling. I did play a Pale Cascade this round, so we're going to be like making three more Pale Cascades next round. Could play Desert Naturalist, but um, this this isn't like you know when it's destroyed, make the Rock Bear that has to go through the countdown. All right, now that turns into Factor Bags. There's some Pill Cascades. I guess I'd blow up a catalog and make another 5-4. Yeah, I could go hard our own units, um, but then they were killing them a little too quickly. You know, like I attacked right then and then they wither, you know, like they attacked, they killed them a little too quickly, but I was kind of planning on doing that, but. Alright, yeah, a couple people from chat says blow up a catalog. Hit both these pill cascades. Hit the pill cascades. Pill cascades. Oh, come on. Hit the pill cascades. Lame. Yeah, we kind of have too many cards, right? So, like, maybe we don't actually need to draw another card right there, because uh, we kind of have too many. We only got four cards. We're doing a pretty good job of running them out of cards. Okay, so my plan is use Ride of the Arcane to kill Vagar. Oh, so we can destroy Mana Jam, that doesn't mean anything anymore. So we're gonna make we're either gonna make Ride of the Arcane or or go hard. Oh, I like the ride negation. That's good. 
Oh, we make different cards. Okay, so yeah, every every catalog's different. So we made two go hards and a ride of the arcane. That's actually pretty cool. I like it. That's a that's a good split. I don't know why I was thinking that you know it's just gonna be the same card, <laughs> but yeah, that makes sense. That each one's different. Yeah, I can counter a Destinator with that, but they haven't they haven't been able to add any damage to their darkness. We've uh, killed the um, whatever card, whatever they're called, right away. So they haven't been able to add any damage. Go hard that. Make some unspeakable horrors for next round. We're a burn deck now. I guess that puts it down to two and they can shoot it with the darkness, but whatever. Down to six. All right, and now we can, you know, Respond to whatever they want with these unspeakable horrors. You know, they try to play like a vile feast, and you know, then we respond again, and yep, that'll do. That was pretty sweet. Triple catalog. There we go. That's that's what Talia catalogs all about. That was pretty cool. How the darkness control just couldn't do anything. Okay, so we'll see if it goes as well this time. Our hand was really, really good last time, and they didn't have Twisted Catalyzer, which is always the most difficult card to defeat. I mean, this card kills their champions, so I kind of think we should maybe keep it, even though it's not necessarily great for us, but it kills the champions. Round two. That was a 20-minute game. We'll see if this one's a 20 minute game as well. That unspeakable horror draw is clutch. Keeping them from dealing damage. right now. Never mind. Found a landmark. So it's unfortunate we have to destroy a mana gem, but it's better than them keeping Vagar alive. Cloven away? Cloven away? No! Not Talia. Boo. Easy does it. Oh dear. Alright, very happy with that. We want destroyed landmark. You know, we want a landmark gone. Or a landmark to destroy. There we go. That's better. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. This seems like a good plan. Alright, one. Suppose if I would have 
Maybe I should have just played Endless Devout there. If I play Endless Devout, then we get to play both Go Hards and then make another copy of Go Hard the next round. Oh, no, 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 we don't get to play both. This one turns into five mana. But yeah, never mind, we good. We don't want to attack, of course, because we're going to be playing Pack Your Bags next round. That's the plan. I don't play the one they know about. If I would have played the 5 mana one, then we could play the Endless Devout also, but I just won't play this card they know about. Yeah, so Catalog does, uh, yeah, so what is it? the question was, what does this card do? Um, round start, create in hand a fleeting copy of a non-fleeting spell you cast last round. So we just played that Pactor Bags. And so at the, this next round start, we're going to be creating two fleeting copies of Pack Your Bags. So we'll get two more of them in this next round. And so that's what it does. Or, well, you know, they, the Packer Bags turn back into Go Hards, but still. That's good for us. Yep, so that's where all these fleeting cards come from. Very convenient little card. We're gonna make two more go hards. This next round start. I will shape death as easily as clay. Pack your bags. Just wait. Let's get Preservarium in play. So no spell. Cast. That's okay. Alright, they're down to four. Back up to eight. So even if I Ancient Hourglass that, they'll still create their Nightfall cards. Like, that's not going to affect that. Alright, so two Gohards from the catalogs. It's going to be go hard number two and number three. I would say no thank you. Nothing more. 
Ah, oh, things five. Do I have enough mana to spend all these? Four, five, six, seven mana? I have six mana. Alright, so. Can't quite kill Grand Seer. Grand Overseer Vagar. But we will, like, round start. We'll, we'll be able to kill that. But they'll still round start, make this four. Alright, they'll go ahead and surrender. That was their last Vagar. And there we go. Talia Catalog defeating Darkness Control again. And we're 2-0. And, oh. and then, yeah, we would have had two more two more of the boxes. <laughs> okay, looks like our Shadow Isles decks can keep on playing Shadow Isles decks. I like this hand. We'll send Vengeance back because it's a little expensive, but definitely like the Ancient Preparations Endless Devout Catalog. So they have Senna Nocturne. We're basically just missing Gohard. Should I take Herald? So we're going to have... This is going to be one landmark. That'll be two landmarks. I'll just skip. I want to find Gohard. Okay, or I guess we'll take Herald. <laughs> They're like, you're not skipping. But I look right first. You're not skipping if we can do anything about it. Light is a lure in the dark. Move or cease. Okay. That's a good play by them. Good play. Awesome. Good draw. Hmm. So basically, do I play this now or do I wait till next round whenever we can, you know, play catalog first? We'll get catalog in play. Because I think we're going to be able to catch up. We're going to be able to go hard the 5-1. We can ride to the arcane, get rid of this. Get a 5-3 plus kill something. Or we can even just play this endless devout because this countdown is going to end at the round start anyway. It's going to be able to block anyway. Alright, so no Senna. I like that. I like that it's going to be no Senna. But, yeah. Nightfall. It's only vulnerable this round. And the minus one, minus zero this round. Those go away. Oh, no, no. The vulnerable is forever. Grand and okay, the minus one, minus zero is this round. The vulnerable is forever. Naga Kabura sends her blessing. Six down to five. Oh no, is that gonna be bug now and just be sitting there? Oh, this card's been this card's bugged sometimes. Uh, it's just gonna be sitting there the whole rest of the game. We're going to the menu. Uh, I've seen that happen before with Ride of the Arcane. It's happened to me before. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's take it for a spin. I can't destroy that. I mean, we could. If we have Desert Naturalist, but we don't. So this, you know, this spell is going to go away at the end of the round. Do I want to... You know, Star Spring plus Ride of the Arcane, blow up the Star Spring. Yeah, might as well. Kill this 3 3. I think that's better than just wasting the spell and, and then playing Herald. Destroy an allied landmark. 
Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the the bug makes it difficult to select. Yeah, Herald of the Magus is definitely good. We're just waiting a little bit on that. Yes, love the naturalist. The sea is too shallow a grave. Uh, so I can't play Herald then. Because I definitely want to play Naturalist and blow that up. The Herald's also great with the Hourglass, because you get to reset Herald. It's a summon. Are you a summon? Ooh, you're a summon. Alright, destroy a Mana Gem. Kill Nocturne. This is going pretty good so far. Destroy man gem, kill this thing. Getting just multiple copies of these right of the arcanes is pretty sweet, even if you're destroying man gems. Oh well. Uh, that card's scary. And they're just taking the rest. Okay. Concentrated forgiveness. Yeah, we'll have vengeance next round for this. Uh, well, then they get to create a darkness there. So this only makes a darkness if they don't have one in hand with the attack. So they kind of want to attack with that or use that first. Now they're going to create another darkness in hand. I open attack. 3, 2, blocks 5, 3. They take 6 and go down to 2. Oh, why they got to be healing their nexus? Oh, was that was that a copy? So did they not create one? Because I thought they already had one card in hand and they drew one for turn. I don't know. I feel like I should probably be playing attackers. This is for... I would love to make a Doom Beast with this unspeakable horror. Oh, so that's not the darkness? Crumble. Okay. I'm just gonna let that happen. So we make a Daybreak card. Daybreak cards are usually attackers. Oh, you don't have Daybreak. Alright, so they block 4, 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, still lethal. Yeah. Okay, we even through the Ride of the Arcane bug. Got another good win. Oh, yeah, catalog. 3-0. Jeez. Viego Draven. Viego's always super, super scary. 
Okay. I think we like all this. The Hourglass is the one, I, you know, I like the 2, 3, 4. Honestly, we don't really have to necessarily keep Zareth, right? Because our power is like Gohard, Talia, Catalog. So I guess like we could just mulligan both of these and look for like those three cards. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. We don't necessarily need those two cards right away. There's Natalia. If it's made of sand, I can write it. They got a vulnerable spider. The party has arrived. Where's our gohards? Our catalogs. I mean, almost about a good one to have. Frozen Throne? Death is transient, as long as the body holds blood. Is Frozen Throne realistic? Countdown 8? It's a lot of rounds. But that could be a really cool thing. Like, basically, you know, Frozen Throne could be really cool to copy with Talia if we get it down to, you know, like 2 or 3 or something. Let's press the Varium and draw. It's always so much better when we have catalog. More spells in general. Really hope this works. Hopefully no glimpse beyond or noxion fervor or anything like that. Time for the money maker. All right, cool. Got to kill Diego. That's big time. I think I'm passing. Well, okay. All right, we're going to free up a spot with the Preservarium. Okay. So we can play one of you. Might as well be you. So we have more information on what this landmark is going to be. How is it always Star Spring? Besides the one time it's Frozen Thrall. So in two rounds, we're going to have a lot of 5-3s, and this Herald will be unlocked. I like the hourglass. That's good. I don't like the hydrovine. That's not good. Only you were made of rock. Kind of, kind of guessing they have another Draven, and they're going to be going with um, Whirling Death. No, they're just gonna let that happen. Okay, but that does level up future Dravens. All right, I guess. I guess we let it happen.
Come on, play a bunch of spells. Play a bunch of spells. Bunch of spells. Bunch of spells. Come on, play some more spells. That's not enough. You don't want to just play one. Yeah, that's not enough. Just the one. Alright, so if we let this happen, they go down to nine. I think we gotta let it happen. It's just like a one mana spell. I think we just gotta let it happen. Let it go down to nine. Because I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play Neutalia. Oh no. No! That wasn't part of the plan. Diego. Man, this is looking great until this Vie this Viego. That's not part of the plan. It's already at 11. We're leveling up. I guess I do have a vengeance. Let's draw some cards. Catalog. Okay, so we played Go Hard, so we'll make a Go Hard. Yeah, that sounds probably better than playing Doom Beast. Vengeance! Yeah. Sultan stitches to awaken the blood within. Alright, so that, if we play Vengeance this round, that means we have five other mana. So assuming we want to play Go Hard this round, also that's four other mana. That would mean, like, Ride Negation. We could have for protection. I think I can allow that. Yeah, we can allow it. Two Viegos down, it's basically, you know, hopefully they don't find the third Viego. Because uh, I don't know if I'm that scared of too much other stuff. Okay. I guess that thing's kind of scary. So we're going to make a Vengeance beginning of next round. Let's play you. Do I want the landmark countdown started? Or do you want to go this way? I think Force used the Spinning Axe. I could just let this 2 2 hit me. Oh, what's the point? Eventually. It's just going to trade anyway. And I need board space. Putting that thing down to 5 health so a uh, Packer Bags would kill it. That attack with that 2-2 is telling us that they have another um, Ravenous Flock, right? Like, I think that's what they want me to block with the Talia and Ravenous Flock. How do we make another Gohard? I thought we were making a Vengeance. Oh, but the... Oh! No, the Vengeance fizzled because they played the Glimpse Beyond, so we don't get to make a Vengeance. And we just drew the Gohard for a round. Uh, that's not cool. Okay, so 11 mana. We're definitely playing that, giving this thing overwhelm. That's step number one. Countering that is step number two. Alright, that'll put them down to zero. Good old overwhelm. And then the six overwhelm here. And we'd even be able to go hard that and get rid of it. Alright, what a win! Man, that one looked kind of bad for a little bit, but we were able to take down the Viegos. And we're 4 0. Okay, so as you all know, whenever we go 4 0 over in normal, for even though it's a meme tier deck, we're taking it on over to ranked. Because it's doing so good in normal. We got Puppy jumped up here saying good luck. Um, and here we go. Let's go try to get that 5-0 dream in ranked. K 
Caitlyn Timo. This is a good go hard matchup. They're going to be doing small amounts of damage to my Nexus. This is a good hand that we have. I like go hard and Vile Feast and Endless Devout. Don't love the Rock Hopper as much. They always have round one Teemo, except for this time. Well, thanks for, thanks for coming by and saying good good luck, puppy. Yeah. So I didn't like the Rock Hopper as much because they have lots of things to do one like one damage like that. I think we're still supposed to play it. I don't think we're not supposed to play it. I'll take a few puff caps, no no big deal. Man, that card hurts. Lecturing Yordle. Alright, one. One more copies of Gohar back in the deck, so we have a good chance of drawing them. Yeah, we assume they kill the 3 1. And now we get some blockers. Is we got some things that can block the lecturing Yordle. That's a ridiculous combination. Endless Devout plus Desert Naturalist. Catalog. I I now catalog of regret playing that go hard last round. I'll just block with the 5 3. They kind of want me to draw more cards, probably, because, you know, like, that's good for their puff caps. Either one of those, I'm going to be sad. Yeah, why not? Just kill me. You never. It wouldn't you know it, I picked the wrong So good. Surprised that card's not a champion. Me miss? Not by a long shot. So eight mana, so we can do four of these two. So we can do like let's go with Bomber Twins. on the pill cascade. Maybe I should have. I haven't played an actual spell this round yet to create a new spell with catalog. So I don't really want to draw lots of cards because of all the traps and stuff. Oh, you're not enabled yet?
Oh man. So I'm not getting any Vile Feast value, and yeah, it's Fallen Comet for sure. So I'm not getting Vile, Vile Feast value, and I'm also not getting a new spell, but get those in. Okay, so when I'm summoned around, I'm playing three Puff Caps. All traps are doubled when activated. No, I can't. Oh, man, this hurts. 10, and then that's just 20 damage? Or okay, it was five, but then got doubled to 10. I know that thing is vulnerable, but I still gotta get rid of it. Man, this stuff's ridiculous. Kind of rough. This is like draw, card draw, card draw. I don't really want to play card draw. Oh. Yeah, GG's, I guess. Unfortunately, we drew pretty poorly here. Just, these are not very good cards. That was frustrating. That was a frustrating game. I think we would normally do just fine in that matchup. I really do. I think, I think, you know, it's so hard to go 5-0. It really is. But I think we'll win that matchup most every time, uh, to be honest. But, you know, like, no, no Talia to put any kind of pressure on them. Um, a card like Ride of the Arcane in there would have been just amazing, right? Because, like, all their things are 3-3s three and 4-4s four uh, that we have to kill. And Ride of the Arcane and then make copies of Ride of the Arcane. Like, we saw that we were doing earlier how we were killing Vagars and stuff. Like, that would have been just fine. Um, you know, or if we could have got a couple more Gohards for Pack Your Bags. But, unfortunately, we didn't. Unfortunately, we just kind of drew, you know, both of our Hourglasses and, you know, just all, you know, a lot of these, like, small units and stuff like that. And just didn't draw those kind of cards that we needed. But that's how it goes. Ride Negation is great at stopping the Karina ability. But, you know, that's how it goes. All right, but still, 4-1. Yeah, can't lose sight of that. Uh, you know, definitely a really good uh, day there with the 4-1. So we'll take that. And, I, you know, I was impressed with everything. You know, the Go Hard with Catalog was awesome. Catalog just looked really, really good. I loved Riding the Arcane with Catalog. That was also great. Three mana deal four, even if you're destroying mana gems. But if you get to destroy landmarks, that part's awesome. Um, but even whenever you're destroying mana gems, um, you know, just deal four is such an important number. Just all these champions everywhere, um, like our three threes and three fours and just uh, dealing four is just so important. And we saw how good that was. So that looked great. I was very impressed with the ride of the arcane with the catalog. All right. But anyway, that's going to be it for Talia catalog. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed it as well. Um, you know, it was a cool one. So yeah, let me know if you play it yourself it's, or anything like that. I'd like to hear about it. But that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.